So we're gonna go bust it open and see how those things are built. I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. currently leaving West End in the BVI and we're heading back to St. Thomas because our friends at STT Marine Services, the guys who did our lithium install and solar upgrade a couple months ago, got their hands on an old kilovolt battery. So we're gonna go bust it open and see how those things are built. Okay, you see where those waves are crashing? There's a giant reef over there and that's where we need to point to get the sails up. This is a short trip, so it's kind of an hour and never. I think we're just gonna get them up as fast as we can. We should be fine. Just out. We are going a bit slow, but we're hoping for a wind shift after we get through this cut. That's more like it. We are back in St. Thomas. We're just gonna put the dinghy in the water and head to the workshop. Man, the sargasm here is crazy. All right, Jesse, what do we got? It's a uh, kilovolt battery that was replaced on warranty, not through anything we installed. Just happened to be some cruisers in the area were offered this up for free. So we took it so we can cut it open. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting us. 
So this is a previous generation to the one that we have. Is Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is before they introduced the internal heating. So but this B BMS is probably the same. The, the BMS is the same, and the cells should be the same. Okay. This is the, the HLX regular. You guys yeah. have the HLX Plus. Gotcha. Gotcha. These aren't even available anymore. Honestly, we kind of like them because they are a little bit smaller. So, like, in your boat, we would have had to do maybe a little less modification. Gotcha. So, why was this one replaced? Uh, the the owner just reported that it kept dropping in capacity, so we haven't. We'll we'll see what we find when we get inside. And see if we find any reason for that. in all her glory. So it's four packs in seals. So 328, 329, 0, 0, 94. Huh. 094, 094, 32, 32. So something in this pack of, of three cells here is what failed. So that's right where our temp sensor is. Is, is it a bad connection or no? Let's try that real quick. Okay. That should seem fine. But something in this pack here caused these to go right up. Nothing looks astronomically damaged. Just adhesive. Yep. Underneath that. Hmm. And break out this whole side. Interesting. So how did opening that up compare to other brands that you've done? It was way harder. This, this one fought us a lot more to get into it. This is pretty well built. This is much different than we've seen in other manufactured batteries for sure. Well, these cells are interesting. So there are four, four cells in each of these packs. Right? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Looks like it. So each of these is 25, probably. Wouldn't be surprised if they're higher, and that's yeah. why, you know, and then they're actually getting you to a higher reading. To, to me, this looks really. This actually looks really well put together. I like the way this was yeah. put together. It's a really nice layout. I like these little boards that they did here for, for connecting everything. These are, these are serrated nuts. Oh. And this is so that you don't need a lock washer or to use nylocks, which you should never use, use nylocks with electric because if it heats up, it doesn't lock anymore. Hmm. Learn something new every day? Yeah, we're going to have to take this over to the van and give you a side-by-side -side between... Yeah, let's Sorry, the other brands that shall not be named. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, I mean, that is a much bigger BMS with way more MOSFETs. Oh, so let's so have the sort of manufacturer. Uh, let's see if we can get. Let me just get this little gaffer cape over here holding it on. So, let's get that on. Maybe that looks get like it. it's got some screws on it, too. Yeah. This is the Bluetooth module. Oh, do you see it on there? See it right here. Looks like they have uh, a header 
for lights, 25, 50, 75, 100 alarm run. That's funny because the new ones have, there's a, you push the button on the top like yeah. the one that you have and you can get what percentage they are. Yeah. Or roughly. Okay, we've got the packs out of the case. Top band, 3.2, 80 watt hour. Looks like this is our model number, and then these are our serial numbers. That's some swelling, but I mean, they're all they're swelled all, out. Yeah. They all look like they needed to be compressed a bit. Well, well they probably they were. were. Yeah. And then when we got yeah. them out of that. That's yeah. why they were so hard to get out. that just trying to get them out of that yeah. bottom that's just a friction fit on the bottom it's yeah. not anything no, no obvious heater corrosion issues well, i don't see any evidence that they vented anything no aluminum case cells swell yeah 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 all cells swell yeah oh yeah look at that positive negative right on the right on the stud <laughs> This is why you, get, you want to use a torque wrench when you set them, because it's literally just coming straight through and held in place. Just with the plastic. Just, just with the, the plastic. So if you over torque that, then you turn it. Yeah. Now this is different. This is different construction than their current batteries. We don't know how different the internals are. The case is different, and part of the reason the case is different is the new ones have the heaters. But I would guess, based on what you saw on the BMS that the BMS is no different. Yeah, the BMS looks like it's got the headers for the, uh, the heater right on it. And they were making, for a while, they had the, the HLX Plus and the HLX. They were, they were selling both. Yeah. So it makes sense that they had one BMS and then they would just plug in the heater if they yeah. had, if it's one with the heater or not. 10 AWG silicone, 200 C wire. So a normal marine wire is 105 C. So it looks like we can take off this heat sink, but it's also adhesive it's on, on there. Yeah, but look. look at that. That's oh. pretty cool. That's a lot of monster. Is my camera? Oh, yeah. That's right over here. So this is the Keyleval BMS that we're just comparing to two other brands' BMSs. Yeah. yeah. Brand. Uh, and brand Ray just really wants to call everybody out. I know. <laughs> but both of these are for 300 amp hour rated batteries. This is for 100 amp hour. Um, these are both related for the same are rated for the same discharge. And to me, this one seems far, far more robust for it. Now this has bigger MOSFETs, mm -hmm. but there's a lot less of them. Yeah, I mean, depending on who you ask, size isn't everything. <laughs> Maximum continuous, 100. It, you're right. It, it's, yeah, this is this has a lower, and the maximum charge current, 100. Yep. That's what if you read a lot of like what Rod wrote in that being an educated consumer. Yeah. You know a lot. You of have them this, are, and you run, you run, you, you've got a load on your on on your bank, and plus you use your electric winch. You could. You could have some issues. That's why they say not to use the bow thrusters and things yeah. like that, where at least the kilovolts, you know, don't have the same issues. Yeah, I mean, we would exceed, we would exceed our charging capabilities if we had gone with, uh, because we go over that. Yeah, I mean, if you have all, if you have the generator going on a sunny day yeah. and all the charges going. I've, we've, when we had the generator on, I've, I've, I've seen 340 amps going on the batteries, mm -hmm. which would have been over the... Yeah, if you had three of those in there instead of three of these. Yeah. Yeah, specifications are pretty important, clearly. Super interesting. Thanks for including us on this, you guys. Again, when, when that opportunity came up, I figured yeah. make some good content. Yeah.